Now for this next part, we've got to find the size of the acute angle between the line segment CB and the line L, giving your answer in degrees to one decimal place. And at this point, you know, it's worth mentioning, I feel, that can you see as this question is evolving how important it is to have a sketch, all right? And this question gets uh, worse, if you like, as we progress through it. So definitely a good idea to keep updating your sketch. And that's what I've done here, by the way, as well. In the previous part, we found the length of CB, which I've updated now as the root of 126. So this acute angle that we've got to find between the line segment CB and the line L. Well, for my drawing, it seems to be as if it's going to be that angle there, which I'll call theta. It doesn't matter if it doesn't look like an acute angle. Okay, There's always going to be an acute angle and an obtuse angle between a line and another line. All right? So it doesn't matter which one you pick. We can easily work out one and if it's not an acute angle, just take it away from 180 degrees and you'll get the other angle. So how do we get this angle theta? Well, when we're trying to find angles in vector questions, generally we have to use the scalar product or dot product, as some people call it. And that means that the cosine of this angle, and if you're unsure, by the way, of this, you can always find tutorials on this on my website, which uh, just look under the scalar product or dot product, okay, and you should find how we calculate an angle. So basically it's the cosine of theta is equal to two vectors dotted together. Okay, Two vectors in the directions that you want and I'm going to look at the vector C to B and the vector A to B. All right? So we'll just work out C to B dotted with the vector a to b. And remember, for this, we always divide by the magnitude of our two vectors. So the magnitude of the vector c to b multiplied by the magnitude of the vector a to b. OK, so that's that bit. So I'm not too sure what kind of angle theta is going to be, whether it's going to be acute or obtuse at this point, all right? So we'll just work this out. And as I say, if you're unsure of this formula, just go on the website, there's tutorials on this. So CB dotted with AB, well, let's first of all put in our vectors for C to B. And I'm gonna to have to come down here, okay? Because we're gonna be a bit pushed for room. So we'll just divide this off. We've got cos theta then, okay? equals c to b. c to b as a vector, have we got it? Well, we worked it out in the previous part as the difference between the vector b and the vector c. And we found that that was 10, 14, minus 4, subtract 9, 9, 6. And that gave us the vector 1, 5, minus 10. Okay, so that's the vector C to B. We now want the vector A to B and we need to dot it with that, dotted with the vector A to B. A to B we've got up here was the vector 2, 1, minus 2. So 2, 1, minus 2. And then we divide this then by the magnitude of our vectors c to b. c to b was the last question, the magnitude of it. We found that it was the square root of 126. And we now need to multiply this with the magnitude of the vector a to b. And in the usual way, we'll do the sum of the squares of these components. So it'll be 2 squared plus the 1 squared plus effectively 2 squared. You don't have to put that minus in. 
OK, so what do we have now? Well, if we dot two vectors together, do you remember it was 1 times 2? We'll just put it down then as 1 times 2. And then you add 5 times the 1, 5 times 1. And then add minus 10 times minus 2. So we've got minus 10 times minus 2. Just try and squeeze that in there. I hope you can see that. And this is all divided then by the square root of 126 multiplied by this square root, which is going to be the square root, in fact, of 9, which is 3. So you end up with 3 multiplied by the square root of 126. Now, if you work this out, you've got 2 plus 5 plus 20 on the top there. That's going to come to 27. So it's 27 over 3 root 126. And if you clean this up, it actually comes to 3 over the square root of 14. That's the exact value. Now to get what theta is, theta would be equal to the inverse cosine of 3 over root 14. And if you do that, you find that you get 36.699 and so on degrees, which when rounded to, say, one decimal place, which was what we had to do, it's going to be 36.7 degrees to one dp, one decimal place. So we've actually ended up with our acute angle. If this turned out to be an obtuse angle, it would mean that we had found this angle out here. OK, so all we would have needed to have done was to subtract our answer from 180 degrees and it would have given us our acute angle. OK, so I hope that's given you some idea then how we can go about this question and also how important it is to draw a sketch for these types of problems.